class today? I slept through my alarm. Only one of my classes takes attendance anyway. Are you going tomorrow? Why? Do you want me out of the room? Aren't you worried that you might fail? No. No. I'm not even close. I have an event tonight. I can't believe you're really rushing. Everyone's really nice there. They even offered me a room. Some girl dropped out. You want it? Uh, I wanted to talk to you before I did it, but I, I really love the house, and um, it's actually not that much more expensive than the dorms when you think. You already did it? Yeah. Lori, I'm so sorry. I know that I've been acting weird recently, and... That's not it. I, I mean, I'm over at the house so much anyway. And this doesn't mean that we won't be friends anymore. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have to. I don't, I don't want to live in here alone. Oh, well, they can find you a new roommate. They definitely will if you ask. Look, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? I really don't want you to think that. This is just what's best for me right now. And maybe it's best for you too. Maybe you just need some time alone to think about what you want to do next. I shouldn't be the only one who knows about this. She marches from the living You understand Like it's no big deal I understand How that feels Across town A boy In wise Divide Gonna pull Is mom there? The yeah. From your old man Hi mommy Surprise on his side Not that good I have something to time's <laughs> on mine Drama unfolds. You can still continue your case with the police and see if it gets to court. But we have immediate resources. They can help you resolve things quicker than they could. We can keep things private, which is often what students in your position want. I don't know what I want anymore. He can still tell whoever he wants about this. He can make things up. You would be protected from any retaliation. Abby, we can talk to your professors to excuse any class absences and to get you extensions on your work. I can help you set up counseling appointments at the SPS. Will he be expelled? Each case is different, and we haven't investigated yours yet. I just want to know that something will be done.
So, Sia left early to go home for the weekend. Uh -huh. You know, if you wanted to stay over, tonight would be a good night, too. Saul needs me to do an early shift, so I should probably do some sleep. Why the hell didn't you tell me about her? I thought you knew. I thought you guys were all friends. I'm friends with Lori. I never even hung out with Abby except for that night. I just thought you knew already. God, who else have you been with on my floor? Nobody. Just her, I swear. Did you do it? No. 100% no. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How could I not be sure about something like that? You didn't have your internship today, did you? No. I had this meeting this morning and I didn't know what it was for at first, so, so I- So you lied to me. Technically. But I didn't know what it was for. Sure. They called me and they told me to come in and talk to the dean. They didn't say anything else. Did you have any guesses? I really had no idea. I bet what happened is that Abby found out about us and she's pissed. I mean, it just seems obvious. She's jealous. Us? Yeah, us. And she's been a fucking bitch about that night because I never asked for her number or anything. I didn't want anything to do with her after that. She never even tried to contact me about any of this. That's the weird thing. She just came out of nowhere with this made up story. Bitch, what a liar. I know. God, I can't stand her. She's always been weird. I bet her boyfriend found out and broke up with her. That's probably why this is all happening. I'm really sorry about all this. Dad? I'm fine. Um... Listen, uh, there's something that you're gonna find out about soon, and I wanted you to hear it from me. I, I had a meeting with the Dean today, and they are investigating a... Cool assaults. 